Hi there. Before you get started creating your resume, I want to talk to you about ATS and why you need to know about it. ATS stands for Applicant Tracking System, and this is a bot service that a lot of Fortune 500 companies are using to weed out relevant applicants from everyone else. Another way to think of ATS is that it's the Digital Ages Circular File. And when you're creating a resume, you want to follow a few do's and don'ts in order to avoid being cast aside. The number one don't is a generic resume. You don't want to just get a template, slap your name on it, and call it a day. You're going to want to personalize it as much as you can to make it relevant to the job you're applying for. And just like the internet, word choice and keywords matter. When you're creating your resume, you're going to want to use some specific words that are relevant to the position you're applying for and your experience and expertise. The other thing to keep in mind is that the ATS system usually hates PDFs. So you're going to want to save your resume as a document file. Listen, I know a great resume is essential for booking an interview with a bigger and better company. And if you follow these tweaks, you'll be able to work with the ATS system and stand out as an applicant that they're going to want to bring in.